Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's just gone 12, so I'm going to get us started. Um, a very warm welcome to all of you um, to this um, College of Graduate Studies orientation session. My name is Professor Jessica Murray, and I will be serving as your program facilitator this afternoon. Um, so I am joined by um, my colleagues um, from the College of Graduate Studies, um, and some of the people you will be hearing from um, over the course of the session this afternoon are, are the key role players in the college, um, and they will be able to give you very, very useful information um, that will make your um, journey with us um, over the course of your postgraduate studies as smooth as possible. Um, now, we're very excited to have you not only join us this afternoon, but you, to have you um, um, choose UNISA as your um, uh, institution for your postgraduate studies. Um, so we have um, a number of um, presentations that we will be playing for you, um, and I will introduce them um, as we go along. Um, we also afterwards have a um, slot for questions um, that you will be well, um, invited to um, pose your questions live. Um, I also do want to encourage you um, to use the chat function um, as you listen to the presentations. Please feel free um, to pop any questions questions or comments or concerns in there. Um, my colleagues um, are standing ready and they um, will be responding to questions um, as we go along. Um, of course, if you um, do not get a chance to ask, you ask your question or something occurs to you later, you're always um, at any stage welcome um, to get in touch with us um, after the session. The session will also um, be placed on our College of Graduate Studies YouTube channel. Um, so if you experience connectivity issues um, or any problems, um, you can always um, access um, the session um, later as well. Um, OK, so. I am going to um, ask my colleagues then to um, play the first session and our first presenter will be um, our Executive Dean here in the College of Graduate Studies, um, Professor Tennyson Muguccini, um, and he's going to tell you a bit more about the college um, and then with a specific focus on the catalytic niche areas. Thank you. Hello, welcome. This is uh, Professor Tennyson Mokuchini. I am the Executive Dean of the College of Graduate Studies. Welcome to getting to know about us. Um, I will, of course, uh, walk you through some of the often asked questions about who we are, what we're here for, and as I do that, I will take my uh, face off the screen for a while just to speak you through some of the key things about us. Once again, welcome to the College of Graduate Studies. Who are we? We are one of UNISA's colleges and we are distinct from the others by virtue of being a service college. We serve as a leader of excellence in postgraduate studies and research. And our job is to make sure that excellence in research and all matters related to research is mainstreamed, mainstreamed across all the colleges at UNISA. We are the hub for institutional support to all our postgraduate students and all the staff members who assist them. As a college, we make sure that we offer support to our students and academics so that they make optimal use of the open distance e-learning mode of delivery that UNISA is famed for. Of course, when we help our students, we help you from the start of your journey as a postgraduate student all the way to your graduation. And our priorities are very easily spelled out and they straddle across two specific areas. Firstly, we provide a central hub for our honors, postgraduate diploma, masters and doctoral students within UNISA 
to enhance excellence in and accelerate the completion of their postgraduate qualifications. We also offer supervisory capacity development for all our supervisors that the university has. One of our main priorities is to ensure an exceptional postgraduate experience for our students by offering wide ranging postgraduate administrative support interventions. And of course, one of the things we are known for and have been tasked with is to make sure that we optimize the university's catalytic niche areas. These niche areas are 10 areas of science that have been specifically identified by our vice chancellor as areas that we need to give priority to. The niche areas include marine studies, aviation and aeronautical studies, automotive sciences, energy, space study and the square kilometer array, the fourth industrial revolution and digitalization, the natural sciences, health studies, medicine, feminist, womanist, Bosadi theorizations, and of course, student support and co-curricular activities. One will wonder why these areas? The reasons are simple. Firstly, we've identified areas that have very significant potential to make quite substantial changes to society as we know it. Take, for example, health studies and medicine. Our primal objective is, is to ensure that we are at the cutting edge of research around health studies and medicine so we can deal with any challenges that society has to deal with. Of course, the other reason that we exist or support the catalytic niche areas is to ensure that previously overlooked subject fields finally get to be mainstreamed. So previously marginalized groups have access to this. And finally, these catalytic niche areas are historically areas that have very substantive funding that goes towards them and we get a chance to actually make sure that we give access to our students so that so that they too can in turn have access to the many financial resources and grants that are available in these fields. What programs does the College of Graduate Studies offer? As I've said, our job, our primary focus is to ensure that we capacitate our students. We also capacitate everybody who supports them in their journey. With respect to supporting and capacitating our students, we have a wide range of short term workshops, seminars and lectures that we deliver. And these speak to all the challenges that students have throughout their study journey. If you are interested in something more substantive, we have a flagship program called the Accelerated Honors, Masters and Doctoral Support Program. This is a state of the art. Once one only in the world type of program that supports students 365 days of the year through a mixture of lectures, seminars, workshops, which you can access anytime, anywhere and at your convenience. And of course, the program does more than just uh, share content with you. We also avail academics, world leading academics who offer you guidance in addition to the support you would have received from your supervisor. And then, of course, we also have a primal objective of supporting our academics. And to do that, we have another state of the art flagship program called uh, the Supervisory Capacity Development Program. This is a four month long program that trains our supervisors in all the different pedagogical skills, all the skills to do with providing exceptional learner support 
all the skills that ensure that they have advanced awareness of research methodologies. All those are taught to our 2,300 supervisors that the university has on their books. And of course, that program is certificated. So when, when you complete it, essentially those who complete it have as close to a driver's license to supervision as possible. Those are just two of our offerings that we have. Beyond that, we have a lot of other courses to do with very difficult areas that students struggle with, from statistical analysis to grant writing or even writing for publication. Now that I've marketed us so well, I know your next question is, how on earth do we find this College of Graduate Studies? Essentially, we are everywhere. And these are some of the spaces that you can find us on. Uh, you will know that we have a very, very vibrant presence on our social media. You can, of course, visit us on our Facebook groups. Or we have a Twitter handle, which you can see. We have a Facebook page. And of course, we have many of much of our content is available on YouTube. And if you are at all interested in uh, in accessing this, take a moment to scan the QR code on the right upper hand of your screen and that will open your access to a world of support, to a world of excellence that's provided by the College of Graduate Studies. I thank you very much for paying attention to this and I look forward to seeing you on any one of our, our platforms. Okay, after those introductory um, remarks, um, I really hope that you are starting to feel very excited about the incredible range of opportunities we offer here at the College of Graduate Studies. We are certainly excited um, to have you join us and to share our offerings with you. I'm sure you also started to get a real sense that scholarly excellence and you as the UNISA postgraduate student really stand at the center of everything we do and everything we plan and everything we offer. Um, so now I am going to hand over to Professor Meme Makua, um, who will be telling you a bit more very briefly about um, the postgraduate support structures here in the College of Graduate Studies. Good day students and all who attended. My name is Meme Makua. I'm a professor in the Department of Health Studies. Currently, I am working at Postgraduate Administration Department at the College of Graduate Studies. Today, I would like to share with you on the various support services that we are having for postgraduate students. Thank you. As a distance learning student in the College of Graduate Studies, you are going to have time to be introduced to various services that the college can offer. Yes, you are registered under the discipline specific college, but the College of Graduate Studies is going to take you through the support that you need for you to be able to be successful in your studies. For, di for distance, open distance learning students, it's not necessary that you go the route alone. The road has to have support and fellow students that are going to help you. Today, I want to show you the various facilities that we are having. In another orientation session, we will be able to get into details regarding the various support services that I am showing you today. Other than the general support offered to students, we have specialized support like support for students who are differently abled through the Advocacy and Resource Center for Students with Disabilities. In short, we call it ACSWID. And 
their mission is to create an enabling teaching and learning environment that will lead to the full participation and equalization of opportunities for students with disabilities. MND students should talk to the supervisors about their specific needs for a relevant referral. UNISA is not only the one that you see at Macalnia campus. We also have regional centers, which are UNISA offices that can offer various services to students in Niera. We try to cover all the nine provinces and also outside South Africa for the international students. Resources are not yet enough to do that, but currently we do cover Eastern Cape, Ethiopia region, Gauteng, KwaZulu Natal, Midlands, Northeastern, Western Cape, and we are envisaging to enlarge this support. When a student visits a regional center, they go there for specific advice or to meet other students. Like I said, that the road need not be lonely or to make use of UNISA services that are available like computers, because sometimes students do get challenges with their own computers. Although we have a limited number of computers available in the centers, but we do have the computers. Don't stay at home and say my computer has crashed. We have MND related policies and procedure documents. This should be the book that you read throughout your study so that you will stay relevant and you ensure that you know what to do, when and how, and ask relevant questions when you meet with challenges or where you do not understand. We also have postgraduate bursaries to support our honors, masters and doctoral students with these bursaries. So students will lend to this page and be able to get the help that they will be needing in terms of financial support. We have a directorate for counseling and career development. In short, it's DCCD, where students are supported before they come to UNISA when they inquire during their journey and studies at UNISA and also after their studies, we do support our alumni. The support services provided is career counseling, academic personal guidance and general counseling. And the e email or the site is also provided. The direct support that we have is postgraduate research workshops and we also have a marketing department to support our postgraduate students. For the research support services, we have the training officer, Dr. Tony Majila. The email is shown there, who will take, show you a program throughout the year to say this will be the research workshops that the research support office will be giving to MND students and as well as the honors students for them to be able to go through their research smoothly and ask relevant questions from their supervisors. Then the CGS marketing department ensures that the social media platforms that UNISA have are up and running, they are OK, and the questions posted there, they are answered. So that is that in short, remember students, the My Life email is your landing page and it's your passport to get communication running smoothly with UNISA. Welcome to UNISA. Thank you. Thank you very much to um, Prof Makua for sharing all that information with us. I'm sure you're also now getting a real sense that for us, support is the name of the game. We take our commitment to being there for you incredibly seriously, um, and we really only succeed when you succeed. Um, OK, next up we have Ms Tembeka Tsukudu, and um, she will be telling us a bit more about the post-registration phase for honours and postgraduate diplomas. Thank you.